Yeah. All right, we are back with a breaking news alert. Sky 2 is in the process of following a police chase here. This is Old Boudreaux Road near Highway 249. I believe it's northwest Harris County, perhaps out in the uh, Tomball area. This guy's moving so fast that, you know, it's hard, it's hard to keep up with him at this point. Yeah, we don't know exactly what started this chase, uh, but we do know that police are in pursuit right now. He is going very fast. Once again, we're watching this black car. That is the, the vehicle that police are chasing at this point. We have Sky 2 in the sky right now, basically trying to keep up with this driver who's going really fast right now. Mm -hmm. Old Boudreaux Road, uh, from what we can tell near the 249 Tomball area, uh, he's off the road now. And, uh, of course, on a two-lane road like this, there aren't many options in terms of uh, when you come upon a slow driver in front of you. And, of course, he'll go against oncoming traffic whenever possible. You see drivers pulling over and stopping there right now. Boy, that's the thing to do because this guy seems uh, like he's willing to kind of do anything at this point to get away from police. We saw several cars pull over and others just stop. If you have friends and family in that area who are traveling in that area right now, you may want to call and, and let them know that uh, if they see this or they're, if they're right in that neighborhood, they may just want to stop because we know the situation can turn deadly quickly. Uh, yeah, just uh, came upon an intersection. We'll see if we can find out that exact location for you. Uh, our producers are back in the control room. We'll be trying to take some cues from various signs and things, and we see if we can get a, uh, a better read on this for you. But uh, obviously, Northwest Harris County, this guy is not uh, in the city proper with all these two lane roads out there, and uh, he's obviously looking for room to run. And uh, the police are, are, are uh, obviously behind him, not in this shot, but he is being pursued Ooh. at this moment. That was, those are some really close calls there as he was trying. Oh, goodness. Very close calls as he is traveling on the wrong side of the road right now, and those cars simply don't know that uh, he's running from police and they need to get out of the way. So, Boudreaux Road at uh, Grant Road was the last interchange Grant. that we had heard about, and uh, he's coming upon a bend here, which is going to get dicey if he tries oh, to gosh. go around. Mm. Slides out of control. He's off the road. Yep, looks like he may have turned over as well yeah. uh, and hit a car as well. Now, it looks like that suspect's running on foot. The man right there in the green shirt doesn't know which way to go because he probably realizes there are police all over the area. Yeah. And also there's a chopper that's chasing him as well. It looks like police are on the ground as well. Uh, yes, it, in, indeed, it looks like there are multiple police officers there uh, going into that little wooded area chasing him. So hope there's and a fence he's there. now in custody. Police have the suspect in custody. Yeah, it looks like uh, he was coming around that bend, and he, he tried to go into the oncoming lane of traffic and, and saw an oncoming vehicle and swerved and lost control and uh, ran that pickup truck off the road, too. And then, of course, we saw him try to escape, and he ran directly into a fence with nowhere to go. So when you turn around, you know who's behind you. Right. Three police officers there, uh, three sheriff's department uh, deputies there on the scene, three different vehicles, multiple deputies, though, they're uh, taking that suspect into custody there. Again, the suspect in the green shirt, mm -hmm. we saw him hit at least one vehicle. He may have clipped that other one, too, honestly. Yeah. Uh, we know he hit at least one vehicle, which then caused him to spin. May have even kind of flipped on his side. I don't know for a second. It, we'll take a look at the car again yeah. when Chopper kind of zooms out, and we'll see what condition it's in. It was a black vehicle that they were chasing. It looked like a four-door sedan type vehicle that they had been chasing. Uh, we picked up the chase and found out about it along 249 and Boudreaux, and then it went along, what, Boudreaux and Grant, and that's where it kind of ended there. Uh, it looks to be more of a rural type area. Mm -hmm. For sure, yeah. He, he uh, rolled that car on its side and bailed out, and now they got him. So, uh, good work by the Harris County Sheriff's Department there, and uh, lucky for the folks on the road there. He did mm -hmm. not cause any injuries or deaths along this part of the chase. But, of course, there's a whole backstory here that we need to uncover uh, as to why this guy was running initially. All right, and hopefully the driver of that other vehicle that he hit and the one that he may have clipped as well are okay. We'll have to uh, keep a watch out throughout the day and get more details on this. Yeah, I was trying to see back. There's, the, there's that car, as yeah, you said. He definitely put it up on its side. Mm -hmm. and, and, um, Looks like the bumper fell off as well mm -hmm. in the process. So. All right. All right, we'll keep you updated right here on Local 2 throughout the day. In the meantime, a world-class resort. Live, KHOU 11 News starts now. And breaking now, a wild police chase in Northwest Terrace County where a suspect weaves through oncoming traffic, runs several vehicles off the road, and then crashes. We've got a live look from Air 11. This is where it all ended. This is going to be near Telgi and Grant Road, Northwest Terrace County, Air 11. Over the scene, you can see the suspect vehicle being hooked up to a tow truck to be taken away. Tiffany Craig is in the...
newsroom with the dramatic images of it all. Tiffany? Uh, yeah, Sharon sure, Min. It started as a routine traffic stop, and then it turned into this high speed chase that you've got to see. We don't know exactly how fast that black Chevy Malibu was going, but it was speeding past. There it is, backing up. And then it starts to take off and it speeds past a bunch of other cars in this neighborhood. It started on Boudreaux just off 249. Oh, and look at that. Slowing down takes out a mailbox as it's being chased by Harris County Sheriff's deputies. That mailbox through the air. Several other close calls. That driver was taking tight turns, going too fast, putting a lot of other drivers at risk. And then you can see after about 20 minutes, he spins out. Crashes, and then of course, you can see he's running, can't get over that fence, continues running, and eventually is stopped and arrested by sheriff's deputies. We have a crew actually on the way out there to figure out exactly what was going on with this guy. There's his car, you can still see. Our crew will find out what's happening, and we'll have much more today on KHOU 11 News at 4 and also on our website at KHOU.com. Live in the newsroom, Tiffany Craig, KHOU 11 News. All right, thank you, Tiffany. Boy, those were some crazy pictures. Mm -hmm. Now, the weather where it has been another chilly start to the day, but. All right, we are back with a breaking news alert. Sky 2 is in the process of following a police chase here. This is Old Boudreaux Road near Highway 249. I believe it's Northwest Harris County, perhaps out in the uh, Tomball area. This guy's moving so fast that, you know, it's hard, it's hard to keep up with him at this point. Yeah, we don't know exactly what started this chase, uh, but we do know that police are in pursuit right now. He is going very fast. Once again, we're watching this black car. That is the, the vehicle that police are chasing at this point. We have Sky 2 in the sky right now, basically trying to. To keep up with this driver who's going really fast right now. Mm -hmm. Old Boudreaux Road, uh, from what we can tell near the 249 Tomball area, uh, he's off the road now. And uh, of course, on a two lane road like this, there aren't many options in terms of uh, when you come upon a slow driver in front of you. And of course, he'll go against oncoming traffic whenever possible. You see drivers pulling over and stopping there right now. Boy, that's the thing to do because this guy seems uh, like he's willing to kind of do anything at this point to get away from police. We saw several cars pull over and others just stop. If you have friends and family in that area who are traveling, in that area right now, you may want to call and, and let them know that uh, if they see this or they're, if they're right in that neighborhood, they may just want to stop because we know the situation can turn deadly quickly. Uh, yeah, just uh, came upon an intersection. We'll see if we can find out that exact location for you. Uh, our producers are back in the control room. will be trying to take some cues from various signs and things, and we see if we can get a, uh, a better read on this for you. But uh, obviously, Northwest Harris County, this guy is not uh, in the city proper with all these two lane roads out there, and uh, he's obviously looking for room to run. And uh, the police are, are uh, obviously behind him, not in this shot, but he is being pursued Ooh. at this moment. That was, those are some really close calls there as he was trying. Oh, goodness. Very close calls as he is traveling on the wrong side of the road right now, and those cars simply don't know that.